How's it going everyone, Sephir here, and welcome back to another Tower Fantasy video. Today is going to be week 3 in the Vera Guide series, and what happened to week 2 and 1? Well, we were so busy with Vera activities that they just came out in the videos that we made. We didn't have to make a separate video for that, but going forward we will start this weekly guide series every Monday, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. We have a lot of important information to talk about in this video today, including critical information on the battle pass and why you should save. We also have new events coming up and some new characters in the future that we are speculating on. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about all of those. The first thing that is coming up here is going to be the ultimate weapon event, which is on November 1st at midnight, I guess. So it's gonna be a little bit of a late one for this. So the event looks pretty straightforward. It seems like you kill enemies or find locations and then go ahead and cash that in for a shop currency. You can get red nucleus as well as Mira. So there's a couple goodies in here for you to collect and obtain. And the more events, the better because because that's going to give us better chances to pull for our favorite characters. Speaking of events, we also have the Halloween Gotcha event, which is currently running in the game right now. So if you are somebody who wants that costume, make sure to take note of that because it will be ending soon. In two days, in fact, so if you're picking up your Mia outfit or the outfit for yourself as well as the hat, you will have a limited time to do so. I know that these gotchas have continued to be very expensive, so if you want to vote with your wallet, I absolutely respect and uh, encourage you to do what is best for you or what you think to do uh, because these prices definitely need to be lowered at least by half uh, this much for skins not not the best uh, but anyways let's move on from that since it is Halloween happy Halloween everyone this is the 31st so make sure to uh, you know go out be safe out there get your candy have your fun with your family and friends hopefully it's a good time uh, I don't know what uh, I'm gonna be dressing up as yet but it's gonna be a last-minute costume I was thinking about vampire or something we'll see See how it goes let me know what your halloween costume is down below but hopefully you guys all have a good time today the next event that we have to talk about is the two fantasy vera event series on twitter that is very hard to say because it's all jumbled up in words but that is what it is called so it's a sort of uh, twitter event where you tweet out pictures or some activity from the official tower of fantasy channel with a chance to win amazon gift cards so if that's something you're interested in go ahead and check that one out i'll leave the link in the description down below Following that, we're going to talk about banners and characters. So we have Ruby in the game currently, but we don't have much time left on her, about nine days. And historically in the past, a new character has been generated when the old character had about like three, four something days left. So I would expect to see an announcement for a new character very soon. Maybe today, maybe later on in the week, but we're pretty sure that it is Saki Fuwa. So Saki Fuwa will be the next character, most likely. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that. I know a lot of people are looking forward to Ice characters. So as we draw closer to the end of Ruby's banner, I would expect to see some information floating around about that. And hopefully we will be able to obtain that character soon. Let me know if you're pulling for Saki down below. I know personally I'm going to 6 star Saki. That is the comp that I wanted to go for. I wanted to go for Ice. So I'm going to be going crazy for that, and I'm going to go ahead and record my pulls so that you guys can all see it. Now that Saki is covered, let's get into the important stuff for the week. We have in critical information on the battle pass. So right now you will be able to claim weekly activity, but do not do it because the battle pass is going to be ending in two days. And when this battle pass goes away, since it's already capped at level 180 for most players, you're going to want to hold your battle pass points for the next battle pass that will be coming out here shortly. There are some exciting items in the new battle pass, including a special ninja themed costume cosmetic. So make sure to check that one out. It looks great on the male characters finally we got something good and it also looks good on the female characters as well and in addition to that you will also get access to the final ssr relic hoverboard which is a pretty much a travel mechanism to get across uh, quicksand and other devices within the vera desert so make sure to keep your eye out for that it is pretty cool but the best part about it is the four star bonus will increase your flame damage by two percent passively so if you are a fire main this is going to be something you're going to want to aim for next up we have the bygone 
Phantasm, which has been reset this week. So a lot of goodies coming in. Let me know what place you got last week. Last week I got second place, so I got a pretty respectable amount of currency. I was outshined by a Kraken, so uh, that does happen. Let me know how your bracket is looking this week. This week it looks like I have Zarni in my bracket, so that'll be fun. Well, 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 who do we have here? But the rest of it is looking pretty easy. A couple guys in the 340 range, a couple 300 plus, but I don't see anybody quite at my range level, so this should be an easy first place for me this week, uh, assuming Zarni doesn't go Super Saiyan here so we'll have to see how that goes uh, but hopefully you guys have an easy bracket as well let me know in the comments down below do you got any krakens lurking there with their tentacles do you got any giga whales in your bracket let me know how it looks and of course with the bygone phantasm we have to talk about the sequential phantasm we have three new challenges this week the first one is the trial of steel which will require you to deal physical damage only so if you have shiro or claudia leveled up this will be the challenge for you good luck with everything else i know some people have to bust out the biling that's going to be a little bit rough but there's not very many physical characters to choose from in this game currently so this is going to be a bit of a struggle for most people Following that, we have the Awareness Adhesive, which is going to be the Frost element this week, so Frigg and Tsubasa will be very powerful. I don't know if we're going to get Saki in time, but uh, if we do, that will make this really easy. If not, uh, Tsubasa and Frigg will still do the job. Meryl is a strong contender in this as well, so you can be sure to be on the lookout for that. Then we have the Guard Defender, a super easy challenge this week. It is going to be Flame and Volt damage for this one. So you're going to pop on your healing weapons, your Zero, your Coco, your Pepper, whatever you got. Nemesis is the queen here. She does the job and completes this one super easy. So you're going to have to keep these little statues alive and the little uh, creature in the middle. And once you do that, you'll obtain a large amount of points. So I'm expecting a lot of players to have a high score in Sequential Phantasm this week. These are some pretty good challenges. Challenges. Following the sequential phantasm, we have to talk about the wormhole. So the wormhole is it has two days left on the reset, so make sure to cash in on the 40 endless points per clear. So go ahead and do that times eight. You're going to be able to get some extra gold dust currency there, which will help you get some new gear. Next up, we have the raids. The raids have been reset this week. You're going to do heroic mode on the mid-level control room as well as the Phantasmic Zenith, so hero mode on both of those, and then the battle test area for Rudolph. That is going to be the breakdown for the best possible currency outcome this week, so go ahead and check that out. Even if we were to somehow get a level 76 cap, it won't matter as Shattered Realm hero mode is level 77, so it won't change anything at all, so you should be safe to do that. Um, then next up we have the Frontier Clash. Frontier Clash is is going to be tough this week for NA. NA has Volt Damage Resist and Volt Charge Rate Reduction. So Crow is not going to be able to help you here. Samir cannot help you. Nemesis cannot help you. You're going to be forced to rely on other comps. So maybe a Ruby Comp with Fire or a Frig Ice Comp. Good luck on that one. It's going to be a tough week. I know it's going to be different for our friends over at EU, uh, C and JP and everywhere else around the globe. So hopefully you have a better week for Frontier Clash than we do. This one's definitely going to be pretty tough. Speaking of that, we also have the Apex League, which is coming to an end this month. This is the last day, so if you want to go ahead and hop in there, get your ranks, get your points, climb to whatever it is you feel you want to climb, and go ahead and rest there and cash in on the end of season Dark Crystals and Rewards. The other thing that's going to be ending in the month is going to be the Island Exchange Store. You're going to have the monthly ticket items disappearing, so go ahead and cash in on those, collect those before the month ends. And in addition to that, the week has been reset, so you're going to be able to collect some more goodies, as well as the monsters on your island should be full reset, so more boss monsters, more elite monsters, more animals, all that good stuff for you to farm and obtain. Speaking of those things to farm and obtain, Claire's Dream Machine is also available. You can get seven of those. I have not picked mine up this week, but I had really good luck last week. I had a bunch of advancement modules, so hopefully yours is the same. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you've got for your Claire's Dream Machines. Next up, we have the crew. The crew has a few new missions to collect, so go ahead and collect those when you start your day. 
cash in on your daily, and of course, collect your reward box. I opened mine, and yeah, it was gold again this week. It was still gold somehow. This is like the sixth or seventh week. It's absolutely tragic. Let me know what you guys are getting in your boxes. Are you guys getting anything good? Is this thing broken? Is it only giving gold from this day on out? I have no idea what to do about this, but it's definitely been rough for me out here. Uh, speaking of the other things that we have to go, I know that the commissary shop has some more uh, resets coming in, so go ahead and cash in on your Vera special gift, as well as your booster module and advancement module, and at some point this week you might want to pick up this potent omnium crystal, it will be useful in the future, you will need a few of these things to complete it, but you may not have to worry about that until like 8.1 suppressor, which is right around 80,000 CS, so if you feel you're super far off from that, you could probably pass and it would be okay. Then the Crew Star has new shards this week, so go ahead and check that one out. Space Time Rift is available with Type V armor. These aren't that good. I would probably recommend waiting for hologram projector shards as there is no other way to obtain those in the game currently. So that's probably gonna be your best avenue to go for that. The support store has also been reset on the returning player points so you'll be able to cash in on gold nucleus and proof of purchase and in addition to that you will also be able to have new items for the blue currency so go ahead and check out your black nucleus as well as your joint supply chips and make sure you obtain all of those items for the week that's pretty much going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. If you found this information useful or helpful at all whatsoever, make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell because we will have more Tower Fantasy content coming in the future. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we will see you in the next video.